Hey, it's me. Let me show you how to set up breakout rooms for your class in the event that you want to break your students off into uh, pairs or small groups. At the bottom of your Zoom meeting, you should see an option for breakout rooms if you've enabled it in your settings. Tapping on breakout rooms will allow you to set how many rooms you'd like to assign. So let's say you wanted to have um, your 14 students broken down into seven rooms, so that way they're in pairs. Uh, you simply create that many rooms, and you can either assign them automatically, where then it'll just mix up the groups, or you can set them up manually in the event that uh, there are already in assigned pairs. I'll do automatically, and then I'll click on Create Breakout Rooms. And now you see that I have seven breakout rooms. If I need to uh, delete any or add any, I can hover over the breakout room and select Delete, or I can go to the bottom over here and select Add a Room. I can rename what these rooms are in case the groups have names, just for easier reading. Um, and then to assign students, you simply go over here to Assign, and any students that are have not been assigned yet to a room will be here in a list, and then you can select them to assign them to that room. From there, they'll appear underneath the room, and if you highlight over their name, uh, you can either move them to a different room or swap them with someone else that's in a different room. And then after you've created your rooms, um, you can set the options for your breakout rooms down here at the bottom left. And some, what these do is, uh, so the first one here is you can move all participants into breakout rooms automatically. That means that it won't give you that option to do it manually when you go to create them. Uh, you can check the box to allow participants to return to the main session at any time. If you want to force them into the breakout rooms and prevent them from leaving them until you've said so, uncheck that box. The next one is uh, setting a time for your breakout rooms. So if you are setting a 10 minute timer for your rooms, you can just check the box and then select 10 minutes. And then at the 10 minute mark, um, you'll be notified and then the students will be brought back into your room. If you don't do it automatically, then you need to be the one to end your breakout rooms manually. The last checkbox here is countdown after closing breakout rooms, and I highly recommend leaving that one on. When you go to close the breakout rooms, it'll give students that amount of time duration warning prior to them being kicked back into the main room. So it gives them a chance to wrap up their conversations and so forth. Uh, you can set it from anywhere between 2 minutes and 10 seconds. And then when you're finished setting your settings, uh, you would hit the Open All Rooms button here. And from there, you can actually uh, dive into the breakout rooms to, to hear and see your students. You can send a message to all of them at once in case you need to alert them of something that they should be focusing on. Uh, and then you can end the rooms or swap students uh, when as you see fit. So hope this helped. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And as always, thanks for watching.